What up, Doe Connors? JP has received top grossing and they have earned 30 Dragonstones and 35 commemorative gotcha tickets. With that being said, when will Global expect their top grossing and how many stones can we get? That is the topic of today's video. And you know what? We can't say for sure how many stones we're going to be getting. But if I were to predict when Top Grossing's announcement would happen, it would be on average about two days or so after we actually start the celebration. So expect some sort of an announcement either tomorrow night or maybe the day after. Now let's take a look at the actual numbers. Actually, before we do that, I would like to show you guys this little post here. I show this on every single Top Grossing video that I do. This was an article or a post made by Proton a couple of years ago. And this basically talks about how the whole thing works. If you guys want to know how top grossing works, I strongly recommend you guys read this. It is a very useful read with some really, really cool analogies that really puts things into perspective and makes it easier to understand. But long story short, if you don't want to read all this, I'll just tell you. Number two or number one, it usually takes about two days. As you see here, March 18th is when we got it. March 20th is when the top grossing came in for Goku Black Rose 27th is when it came out July 30th is when it, the top grossing actually came in. So on average, two to three days is when we can expect the top grossing announcement on Global because Global has to tabulate the numbers across the entire planet, whereas JP only has to worry about one region. That too, for JP, it's only a matter of hitting top grossing at some point during the day. So like, for example, in this post, it's they bas he basically uses like a race as an analogy. If you're racing with a couple of people, and one of you takes the lead, that very moment that that person takes the lead, that counts as a top grossing. It isn't a matter of whether or not you win the race. It's just a matter of whether or not you get to number one at any point during the tabulation period. So for JP, it is a lot easier and a lot quicker to figure out who gets top grossing. Whereas for global, you have to actually hit number one by the end of the day. So you could be losing the entire day, but on the 23rd hour at the 59th minute, if you hit top number one, then that counts as the top grossing. So for global, it's very different and it takes a lot longer to get all that information because we've got so many regions across the globe, the time zones need to be factored in, which is why it's gonna take a little bit longer. So with that said, let's take a look at the numbers here. This is the Android side for the top grossing. Oof, it's a jungle out there. It's not looking too good. Uh, for the Android side, we've got Luxembourg number one. That too, not overall, not in games, but in action games. So that definitely does not bode well for a possible top grossing announcement. Maybe we still get something. We get seven stones for one region, um, but if that, right? So we'll uh, we'll have to wait and see what comes of this. But for the Android or for the iOS side, it looks a lot better. So this, the 28th of August, the tabulation period is not over yet. We obviously still have uh, more time to go, but at the moment we are seeing four regions performing pretty well. So with four regions, if we multiply that by seven, that is 28 stones. Now, since JP received 30, 28 seems like a relatively uh, plausible option. If we look at years past for the 350 million download celebration, the Frieza Goku one, Global got 28, while JP received 30. And if we look at the year before for the worldwide download, this one's a little bit different though. Uh, for the worldwide download for the year before, Global got 70, JP got 30. So it is possible that they could end up giving more for Global. But if we look at the numbers, when they see this many doing well in the all categories region or the section, they'll probably just stick to that. I don't imagine they're going to be kind of tapping into the numbers on this right side here. If they, if they like, as we move to the right, we basically loosen the purse strings. We widen the parameters or not widen. We, we narrow the parameters. So like the more specific we get, Dokkan just becomes more and more prominent in that particular section. So I don't know if they're going to do that because if we look at the difference between all categories and games, we effectively double almost maybe even almost triple the number ones. Uh, we have a couple of regions that are number two. Hopefully by the end of the day, we might be able to see some of them crack their way into the top one. US, Italy, Belgium. Hopefully one of these regions can do that. If they do, we would probably end up getting 35. If we don't, if one of these regions potentially falls off, then maybe we only get like 21 stones and then maybe they also do the uh, the top person for Android or something like that. So yeah, it's always possible they can tweak the numbers around a little bit, kind of use some of the other performing uh, regions from different times to give us more rewards. But as long as it's somewhat equal to JP, I think a lot of players will pretty much be happy. So long story short, how many can we expect? 28. When can we expect it? In two days. There you have it.
guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like down below let me know in the comments how many regions do you think is going to end up in number one by the end of the day if we're looking here we've got three more regions at number two do you think any one of them could crack their way into the top one if so do you think we're going to be getting more than 30 stones because that is what jp got let me know in the comments down below also be sure to subscribe for more dope content of the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let youtube know you want to see more of my stuff do it thanks again stay tuned and i'll return to dokkan responsibly